un cintre, un cintre, un haut, un haut, un t-shirt, un t-shirt, une chemise, une chemise, un chemisier, un chemisier, un pull, un pull, une veste, une veste, un pantalon, un pantalon, un jean, un jean, un short, un short, une jupe, une jupe, une robe, une robe, un manteau, un manteau, un costume, un costume, une cravate, une cravate, des sous-vêtements, des sous-vêtements. Un soutien gauche. Un soutien gauche. Une culotte. Une culotte. Un collant. Un collant. Des chaussettes. Des chaussettes. Un pyjama, un pyjama, un maillot, un maillot de bain, un maillot de bain, une écharpe, une écharpe, des gants. Des gants, des chaussures, des chaussures, des tennis, des tennis, des bottes, des bottes, des sandales, des sandales. Des accessoires, des accessoires, une ceinture, une ceinture, un chapeau, un chapeau, une casquette, une casquette. Un sac à main, un sac à main, des lunettes, des lunettes, des boucles d'oreilles, des boucles d'oreilles, un collier, un collier. Un bracelet, un bracelet, une montre, une montre, une bague, une bague,
Remember, going to the shop after saying good morning, the salesperson might ask you the following questions. Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Remember, désirer means to desire, which is the first group of verb. Desire. What do you desire? All right. Number two, you might ask, Est-ce que je peux vous aider? Est-ce que je peux vous aider? Aider in this case means help. Can I help you? And it's coming from the verb AD and infinitive. AD, first group of verb, ER. If you don't know how to conjugate this verb, the ER verbs, which are the first group of verbs, go to my videos related to the first group of verbs conjugation at the present time. And also we have the verb pouvoir, all right? Pouvoir, which is the third group of verbs, uh-huh, and it means can or be able to be able to, okay? Be able to. So now this is a, a very common verb. And I'll use, I'll show you how to conjugate it at the present tense. Remember, pouvoir means can or to be able to, all right? Then the present tense will be je peux, je peux, sorry, je peux, je peux, il, elle, peut, nous pouvons, Vous pouvez il elle peuvent elle peuvent very good this is the conjugation of the verb pouvoir at the present tense I can you can he can she can we can you all can or you formal can they masculine can they feminine can to give an answer to the previous question you can start by saying we feel the four plus the thing that you need yes i mean Yes, I need plus the thing that you need. Okay, let's see an example. Oui, il me faut un pantalon. Oui, il me faut un pantalon. Yes, I need some pants. Second of all, you can just ask if they have a specific thing that you're looking for, which means Yes, oui, vous avez, along with the thing. Remember, you're asking a question in this case. So now, vous avez, which means, do you have? Yes, do you have, along with the thing. Example, oui, vous avez des chemisiers. Oui, yes, you can help me. Do you have some shirt? Okay. Oui, vous avez des chemisiers, okay? And it will tell you actually if they have it in the store or not. Very good. So now let's say that you're going to an activity and you don't really have uh, a clue about what to wear. So you can just say, je cherche quelque chose pour aller à. I'm looking for something. This is the verb chercher at the, the infinitive form. First group, again, all right? And which means to look for, to look for. Yes, okay, I'm looking for something. This is some, quelque, and shoes means thing. 
but together they will be something to go or to go all right Ali to go to a birthday party it might be a birthday party a wedding anniversary any other activity that you can imagine right so you can think of so example if you share share your shoes to Ali at Unifet then if you have to I'm looking for something to go to a birthday party. Okay, I'm looking for something to go to a birthday party. Remember, fair means party. Okay, formal party. So now, another word you can use for party again is boom. Boom. Boom is kind of a informal party. Remember, you send the salesperson to go look for something for you. But now, one, when when he or she comes, you might need to try the thing out. How can I ask the salesperson to try the thing on? Remember, pouvoir means can. All right, can I try it on? Can I try it on? So now we have je peux et la prostophe. Essayer. Essayer means to try. To try. But because we're talking about tools now, we can add to try on. Right? So now if the first person comes with one piece of paper, I mean a close, I can say to you Lissier. for one item. One piece of paper. Lissier. Can I try it on? But now if um, I asked for more than one thing, and the person came with the things that I'm asking for. Then now I can use the je peux, let the je peux les essayer, then can I try them on? Okay, je peux les essayer, can I try them on? And remember, elle a posto qui and let, for direct object, for non direct object. Pronoun, okay, direct object, object pronoun, and there's indirect object pronoun as well. But stay tuned for a lesson about the direct and indirect object pronoun in French. Very good. Or I can simply say, Je peux essayer le, la, le, along with the color. So now let's say that instead of saying a thing, okay, you know, one piece of clothes might come in different colors and if you want to be specific about the colors that you want to try on you can use if it's one item and this item is a masculine one i have to say je peux okay essayer essayer for example let's say le vert je peux essayer le vert right so now which means that that this le should go along with the agenda of the thing that I have to try on. Uh, if that thing is a feminine thing, that is when I have to use, je peux essayer, okay, essayer, la, in this case, my ver should match as well with that la, la ver. Let's say that you're talking about a female piece of fruit and my color should uh, go along with the gender of the thing that I'm talking about, or if it's a modern one thing, je peux essayer, je peux essayer les. So now, if that les, I'm referring to some um, male items, in this case, using their, my their should have S on it because I'm talking about more than one masculine thing. But if the thing that I'm asking for, okay, they are feminine, plural, and my verb should be spelled just like that. And that is when you can choose either le, la, or le along with the color. Remember, the colors they have two genders most of them feminine and masculine some of them could be used for both the gender go check out my video about the colors just to find out how to 
the colors in French. How to learn, I mean, to learn the colors in French. Okay. There is the same thing that I'm explaining to you right here. And the question number two, le la le, should we dare to the gender of the piece or pieces of clothes that you would like to try? Try to add on at a foot to see if, for example, when the color is started with a vowel. Okay, for example, you should say it's the real l'orange. L'orange. Okay. Orange. Why? Because orange started with the right, but putting in mind, uh, I mean, that change should. Now, if you wish to ask for the price in French, along with you shopping, you can start by saying, say, combien along with the item. Okay, example, you got, say, combien la cravate, say, combien la cravate. Okay, how much uh -huh. does the, uh, the, the tie cost? Okay, what does the, the tie cost? How much for the tie? All right, then we can just ask, ça fait combien? But ça fait combien is more like you do when you have more than one item. Okay, and you buy and then you buy the counter, you can just ask for the total, which means, okay, how much? You know, for everything, ça fait combien? The total. All right. If you wish to ask for the size, a specific size you would like to uh, wear, you can start by saying, vous avez ça en plus the size, or you can just add, vous avez ça en taille plus the number of the size you would like to wear. All right. If, for example, I can say, vous avez ça en 10. Vous avez ça, I can simply say, vous avez, vous avez ça en 10. Or, vous avez ça en 10. Or, I can say, vous avez uh -huh, ça en taille 10. En taille 10. Ok, en taille 10. All right, basically, you mean, uh, you mean the same thing, all right? So, either you say, vous avez ça en taille 10, or vous avez ça en 10, shortly, all right? Then now, if you wish to ask for a specific color, remember, we're starting by saying, vous avez ça en, okay? Vous avez ça en plus the color, okay? Vous avez ça en. Blue, vous avez ça en vert, vous avez ça en rouge, vous avez ça en, en all the time. And now, now, if you wish to ask for a specific fabric, you can do it as follows. Okay, you can say, vous avez ça en plus the fabric. You know, everything is, vous avez ça en, right? You start with, vous avez ça en. So now, example, vous avez ça en cuir. Okay, a cotton, a cotton, a jean, a queer leather, okay, a queer, or some more styles and fabric. If you have this a la hure, if you have this a la hure, if you have this a caro, if you have this a caro, if you have this a poire, if you have this a poire. Vous avez ça à fleur, vous avez ça à fleur, vous avez ça en bleu clair, vous avez ça en bleu clair, vous avez ça en laine, vous avez ça en laine, vous avez ça en rayonne, vous avez ça en rayonne, vous avez ça en lin, vous avez ça en lin, vous avez ça en soie, vous avez ça en soie, vous avez ça en bleu foncé, vous avez ça en bleu foncé. Now, talking about clothes and French, we have two main verbs that you can use. Either you use net to say I wear. Net basically means or literally means to cook. I to cook. Now, because we're talking about clothes, you can use it as to cook or, all right? 
the now and also we have four t four t means to um carry something all right to carry something but now because we're talking about clothes you can use it as to wear all the okay? so now what is the present tense of the verb met to say i'm wearing okay i'm wearing t-shirt chain and so on so now the present tense of met will be je mets as the first group of verb and you know to conjugate this first group of verb I will be was by E E S E O N S E Z E N T that's why I say je porte je porte il elle on porte um, but we have the subject for for on to right no pauton vous pauté il elle pauté okay that is the verb pauté just to say that I am wearing you remember the present present continuous in English is equivalent to the present tense in French okay thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video bye bye